Hello, my name is Craig, and this presentation is entitled Trust the Process, where I'm going to be offering you five quick and easy tips for overcoming the fear of failure to start a business. And my name's Craig, and I'm a business strategist, and I really specialize in helping entrepreneurs overcome the fear of failure to start their own profitable businesses. And to me, I have a really different approach to entrepreneurship. And in my experience, I've realized that an entrepreneur is really anyone who decides to take a calculated risk to create something out of nothing and share it with the world. And in this definition, you see the words takes a calculated risk. And what that really means is that any entrepreneur, they must overcome their fear of failure to get out and get the courage to share their talents and gifts with the world. And if you really want to start your business, you're going to have to overcome your fear of failure. And so I've worked with hundreds of different clients all across the world in different industries. And when I was doing my research for, for this presentation, I look back at when I spoke to some of these people. And oftentimes, the same limiting beliefs came up over and over and over again. So many people say that they don't have enough time. They don't have enough money. They don't have enough energy. They don't have enough knowledge, support etc, etc, to help them to start their businesses. But the, the truth of the matter, the fact of the matter is, is that there are hundreds and thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of success stories of people overcoming all of these limiting beliefs and more to start their businesses. But the thing is, is that if you do not overcome the fear of failure, life is just going to happen to you. There's a major cost for doing nothing, and that is just to let life happen and pass you by. Because when you don't overcome the fear of failure, you're going to be stuck in the same place. Nothing's ever going to change. If you are working that job, instead of your pay increasing, inflation is just going to be increasing like it is now. You're going to be making the same money that you've always made. Um, you're going to be disengaged and unfulfilled because you're unhappy where you're currently at. And then... In some people's cases, with this current pandemic, you might even lost your job. So you're going to be looking to find new jobs when you could be going out and creating your own. But then last but not least, like if you don't overcome the fear of failure, you're just going to be still dreaming and wondering about what could be. And like I said before, there's been so many studies of why people do not want to start businesses, but the number one reason why people never start their dream businesses is that most people are afraid to fail. It's that simple. People are afraid of failing. And fear, fear is a powerful thing. And what fear does is that number one is that it prevents growth. It keeps you where you're at. It keeps you complacent. Next is that fear is the number one killer of dreams. People don't talk about this, but fear is the number one killer of dreams. Next, fear also brings on regret. Like if you don't do what you're supposed to do, ultimately you're going to regret that you didn't make that decision to start that business that you've always been dreaming of. Next, what fear does is that it induces analysis paralysis. It keeps you thinking and stuck in your own mind, which leads to the last point is that ultimately fear traps you within your own mental prison. And this is the irony is that you're the one who's holding yourself back. Like freedom is on the other side of you overcoming your fear of failure. So why are you afraid to fail? And so what I really want to provide you with is a motivational and inspirational story about how I decided to pursue the road not taken and how I overcame the fear of failure to become the successful entrepreneur that I am today. It's been anything but easy, but I just want to be a testament and a testimony to you to help inspire you to overcome the fear of failure while also giving you five quick and easy tips that you can apply to overcome that fear of failure as well. And as mentioned early in this presentation, my name is Craig, and um, I'm originally from Cincinnati, Ohio. And growing up, I moved around a lot because of my father's job. And this is something that I 
took a while for me to get used to because it was always constant change. But the lesson I learned here is that if you want to grow, you have to get used to change. And so we moved from Cincinnati to Cleveland. And as a kid, this was very difficult for me because I had a severe speech impediment. But what my mother taught me, she's like, hard work pays off. And if you would just focus on solving your own problems, then you're going to be able to move forward in life. And so I was on Hooked on Phonics all the way through middle school, but that allowed me to overcome that speech impediment and allow me to be uh, this motivational speaker that I am today. But after you know that experience in Cleveland, moved down to Columbus, Ohio, and this is where I got my first little sample of entrepreneurship. Uh, I was a teen DJ here in the city, and at 15, like I incorporated my first company. Like my don't laugh, but my DJ name was Absolute Craig. Um, but uh, along with you know this love of of music, I was also a really good athlete and got the opportunity to get a Division One football scholarship that took me out of state down to Birmingham, Alabama. And so just like you, just like so many people today, we have our identities wrapped up in other things outside of ourselves. And my whole identity was wrapped in the football. Like I had these NFL dreams. I was going to be this professional athlete. But guess what? Life happens. Stuff change. And my sophomore year, I suffered a career-ending injury that almost uh, caused me to drop out. But um, this wonderful woman that you see on this page, she inspired me to study abroad in Costa Rica. And I was really reluctant to do so. But when I filled out that paperwork, I wound up getting a full scholarship to go study abroad. And experiencing a different country, experiencing a different language, experiencing a different culture really opened my mind to the endless possibilities of starting my own business, you know, maybe living overseas, but this is what I really need to clear my mind. And so this brings into the first tip to help you overcome the fear of failure. And so I want to induce that first tip using a, a quote from Jennifer Young. And she says, life is hard enough without the added fear, panic, and anxiety. Your soul is crying out for love and encouragement. Take a moment to breathe deep, get present, and find some compassion for yourself. And so if you want to overcome the fear of failure to start a business, the first thing you need to do is you need to take time, relax, clear your mind, and mentally recover. Because like the body does what the mind thinks. And if your mind is overrun, if it's overclouded, if you're too tired, you're never going to be able to make the right decisions you need for you. Because you can't fill up other people's cups until you're filled up first. So before you go out and start that business, make sure you take the time to rest and clear your mind so that you can mentally recover. And that's exactly what I did when I went to Costa Rica. And after that experience, I was super motivated to come back to school. I switched my major to entrepreneurship and I minored in Spanish and international business. And at that same time, I started um, selling t-shirts and wristbands on campus. I was DJing again and I used those proceeds to go invest to study abroad again uh, the next summer. And I just got really hooked on this path of international business and entrepreneurship. But after I got done with Alabama, I was like, what is my next best step? So I moved down to Florida, uh, started my MBA, and I actually knocked it out in one year, which is pretty crazy because it's typically a two-year program. And so right before graduation, I had the opportunity to interview at tech companies in New York City and San Francisco. But I realized, like, you know, working in corporate America might not be the best move for me at this time. And so I had to think really strategically about my next best steps. And I didn't get any job offers, but what happened was that I ran into a Peace Corps recruiter at a Chipotle in Manhattan before I flew back to Florida. And she's like, you should apply for this opportunity to live and work in another country. And I was like, this is what I need to do. Because when I was doing those job interviews, I realized that the hiring managers, they didn't have my best interests in mind. And so this brings us into the second tip for overcoming the fear of failure. And Jim Rohn, he says, if you don't design your own life plan, chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan. And guess what they have planned for you? Not much. And this is what I felt during those hiring interviews. I realized that I had to be strategic and create my own plan for my own future. And so 
The second tip for overcoming the fear of failure to start a business is that you need to strategize. You need to analyze your options, create a plan, and start executing. You may have this idea, you may have this urge, but what you need is you need a strategy. You need this iterative plan that's gonna help you to accomplish whatever goals you have set forth. And as a business strategist, this is what I really help you to develop is a cohesive and iterative, and iterative plan that's gonna help you to accomplish whatever goals that you have set forth when starting your business. But after you rest, after you relax, now you have to get, strate get strategic. And that's exactly what I did. And so I planned out this strategy to go into the Peace Corps, but then leverage this opportunity to start a business in another country. And so I had that plan the whole time I was in Peru. And so I was there as a business strategist, as an economic development consultant, and this was like a super, super life-changing opportunity. But the thing that I never let go of was my dream of starting a business in another country. I just didn't know how this was gonna happen. And so serendipitously, as I was teaching youth entrepreneurship at different colleges, um, one of my co-proving professors was a distiller and he taught me how to distill. And so I took the liqueurs that we were making and I winded up uh, selling those to the farmers that you see down in the bottom middle of the screen. And so building up that confidence, uh, building up a customer base was what really inspired me to immigrate back to Peru and actually become the first ever American to own and operate a craft Pisco di distillery in Peru. And it was a super, super successful venture. I mean, in less than um, six months, we got four different products to market. Uh, I was exporting internationally to the US, Mexico and Chile, and I actually outgrew my space that uh, my, my business was leasing. And so when I approached my landlord to ask for an extension on the lease and ask to uh, rent the, the second floor of the building, um, I realized that she confessed to me that she didn't actually own the property. And so I, was, I had a fraudulent uh, business contract. And so with that in mind, I had to shut down my business unexpectedly. And so this leads into the third tip for overcoming the fear of failure to start a business. And what Mary Ann Redmacher says is so true. She says, unexpected events can set you back or set you up. It's a, all a matter of perspective. And so the third tip for overcoming the fear of failure to start a business is that after you rest and you strategize, you have to reflect um, because setbacks are inevitable but every life event can be transformed into a learning lesson. And you may not have started your business yet, but you've, you have life experience. You know what it's like to go through difficulties, to overcome obstacles. You've, you've made mistakes in the past. And so every opportunity, every failure, really to fail to, is to experience a first attempt in learning, but every life experience that you have is a learning lesson. And so you have to leverage those learning lessons to propel you forward to help you to accomplish whatever goals that you have. And so going back to the story is that after I had to unexpectedly close my business in Peru, like I didn't follow my own advice. I didn't take time to rest. I didn't take time to strategize. I didn't take time to uh, reflect. And so emotionally, I, I moved myself back to Costa Rica and I started working for a travel startup. And it was a really good experience for two to three months. But instead of being calm and learning and appreciating this opportunity, I, m I made the mistake of trying to run this company like it was my own. And so I got fired and that was my first experience ever getting fired and so this really put me in a in a spot of limbo and i literally wound up on my sister's couch in baltimore and for a couple of months i just was kind of just sulking i didn't know what to do i was trapped in my own head i had this analysis paralysis i was trapped in my own mental prison but i realized that i had to be the one to change my own life like you have to realize that nobody's going to change your life but you, you have to be the one to take the initiative. And that leads into tip number four for overcoming the fear of failure to start your own business. And this quote from Sylvia Earle is so profound. And she says, hold up a mirror and ask yourself what you are capable of doing and what you really care about. 
then take the initiative. Don't wait for someone else to ask you to act. And so tip number four for overcoming the fear of failure to start a business is that you got to be resourceful. Don't be afraid to reach out to your network and ask for help. Because what I realized is that if I was ever short on money, if I was ever short on opportunity, if I was ever short on resources, I was short on people. And so when I was on my sister's couch, it's like, okay, like I need to create something. I need help. Chapter 25 of my book is Closed Mouths Don't Get Fed. And so when I realized that, I, I tapped into my Peace Corps network. I started showing up at different events, went to startup weekends all across the uh, Baltimore and uh, Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. And this is how I, I landed a job uh, working at a, at a tech company. And so I, I realized that if I wanted to make my uh, new reality, I had to be the one to take initiative. And so this was a really interesting experience. So I was working at a tech company, but then at the same time, I launched my own company called Visa Jump. And we were actually the world's first ever uh, blockchain application to process travel visas for different embassies and consulates in the world. And so this was a really, really good experience. I mean, I didn't really enjoy working at the tech startup, but eventually uh, after working there for about a year, um, got a severance package, so I went full time on Visa Jump. We got a little bit of funding, but uh, my co-founder, who was from Vietnam, she had to move back to her home country because she had uh, some some business to handle there. And so, with that, with us being so distant, I was like, okay, we really can't really continue with this venture. And so, after that experience, I was like, okay, what am I gonna do next? And at the same time, you know, my, my grandmother had, had passed away. Uh, my family was in a lot of transition. And I was like, you know what? Let me move back home. Let me go back to Ohio and restart my life. Let me take the initiative to make something happen. And so at that same time, when I moved back to Ohio, I was interviewing for all these jobs, but nobody would hire me. And I was like, you know what? I'm really running away from who I really am as this entrepreneur. And so this leads us into tip number five for overcoming the fear of failure to start a business. And this quote from a nice name is the, is the best way to wrap this up. And she says, and the day came when the risk to remain tight in a bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. And this is what I really felt. And this is what I hope you're really feeling right now is that you have this idea, you have this desire, you have this urge to start a business, but you're hiding who you really are from the world. Like you really are an entrepreneur, just like I was an entrepreneur and I was interviewing at all these companies and they knew that I was an entrepreneur, but I was running away from that. But when I realized that I should really look within to begin and be this entrepreneur that I truly am, that's when life really changed. And so the last tip for overcoming the fear of failure to start a business is that you gotta be bold. You gotta take action. You, you can't be afraid to share your gifts and talents with the world. Because guess what? If you're afraid to share your gifts and talents with the world, you're actually doing the world a disservice because you're not showing up as a person you need to be and you're failing to help the people that need your services. And so once I realized that, I got the courage to share my story, just like I'm sharing it with you today. And so as I was going around Columbus networking with people, I ran into a publisher and he's like, Craig, you have a book in you. And I reluctantly signed that publishing deal, but the first words in my book were as follows. I said, this book is dedicated to all those who will dare to abandon the status quo, follow the road not taken, and discover the person they're truly meant to become. And as much as I was writing those words to other people, as much as I was writing those words to you right now, I wrote those words to myself because I had to abandon the status quo, follow the road not taken, and discover the person who I was really meant to become. And that's this serial entrepreneur and business strategist that you see today. And so by following those five tips of resting, strategizing, reflecting, being resourceful, and being bold, I've come full circle to become the person that I needed to become. 
And so I'm this successful business strategist. I'm an award-winning author. My books um, won the, the best entrepreneurship books of 2020, sponsored at the American Book Fest. You know, I'm a motivational speaker as well. And as I led with the beginning of the story, it's like I, I used to have a speech impediment. Now I speak multiple languages, and I love getting in front of the camera and in front of crowds to help inspire people to overcome the fear of failure so that they can start their businesses. So just to wrap this up, I want to give you a, a summary of those five tips to overcome the fear of failure and start your business. Number one is that you got to rest. Like you have to heal yourself. You have to fill your cup up first before you fill up other people's cup. You have to rest your mind and heal. And so after you rest your mind and you heal, you have to strategize. You have to create this iterative plan that's going to help you to accomplish whatever goals that you have. After you've created that plan, you got to reflect on your journey. You have to reflect on how far you've come. You have to give yourself credit for what you've accomplished because you have to prepare yourself to move forward in your journey. Now, after you reflect, you got to be resourceful because guess what? You can't do this by yourself. We all need help. And I'm here to help you to overcome that fear of failure so that you can start your business. And so closed mouths don't get fed. You have to ask for help. And when you do that, you'll be blessed with new opportunities that you never would have had before. And then last but not least, probably the most important tip for overcoming the fear of failure is that you got to be bold. You got to take action. None of this stuff is just going to happen by accident. You have to be the one to take action to manifest your dream into reality. But like I said, I'm here to help you do that. But you got to rest. You got to strategize. You got to reflect. You got to be resourceful. And you got to be bold. And... All in all, the, the main point of this, of this video, of this presentation, is to let you know that like there is no failure, only feedback. Like I said in the beginning, to fail is the only experience of first attempt in learning. And when you're trying something new, like you're inevitably going to make mistakes. Like when I started that distillery in Peru, literally I was the first ever American to do that. I had never started a distillery before. And by signing a fraudulent contract, I didn't know what I was doing. Like it was a mistake. It was an accident, but you better believe I learned from that. And it, it did take me time to recover. But once I learned from my mistakes, like that's what allowed me to fail forward and find success in other business ventures. So my question to you and right now today is, are you afraid to fail? Are you going to allow failure to kill your dreams? Are you going to allow failure to keep you the same person? Are you going to allow failure to prevent you from growing? Are you going to allow failure to keep you trapped in analysis paralysis? Are you going to allow failure to prevent you from starting that business that you know you need to start? I hope not. And if you are still a little bit scared, you know, I'm here to help. And I really want to help you. So let me help you to become the entrepreneur of your life. And I know right now, like you may be suffering a little bit of analysis paralysis. You may be thinking and wondering and questioning whether or not you have the capability to overcome the fear of failure to start your business, but I'm here to help. And so I'm here to help you get from analysis paralysis to that starting point where you're starting to consider entrepreneurship, where you're brainstorming those business ideas. But eventually you're going to have to get to a crossroads where you're going to have to commit to this journey of entrepreneurship. And so you got to do that because after you commit, after you put in that work, you could ultimately get to that point of freedom where you're living life on your terms and you've built a business that's working for you. And I really want to help you to accomplish this goal to overcome the fear of failure and start your uh, business. And like I said before, I've worked with hundreds of different entrepreneurs literally all around the world. I had clients in the U.S., Haiti, Switzerland, Costa Rica, Brazil, uh, Colombia, you name it. And so as a business strategist, like I help you to create this iterative plan that's going to help you to accomplish your goals. I'm going to coach you. I'm going to give you those lessons learned. I'm going to give you that wisdom to help you 
to accomplish your business goals. But number one is that we have to help you overcome that fear of failure because the body does what the mind thinks. So once I help you with that mindset, I'm going to give you a proven plan and those strategies to help you to overcome the fear of failure and start your business. And so what you're going to see below uh, on this page is, is an offer to take the next best step and enroll in my Entrepreneur Affirmation Bootcamp. And so in this program, I'm going to help you to overcome the fear of failure. I'm going to help you to test your idea without draining your resources. I'm going to help you to create a winning product that matches the market demand. I'm going to help you to build an action plan that keeps you focused. And I'm also going to help you to understand what to do to create a successful business. And so the ball's in your court. Are you just going to let life pass you by? Are you going to do nothing? Are you just going to keep remaining the same? Or are you going to overcome that fear of failure to start that dream business that you have in your mind that you know you need to start today? So I invite you to um, click the link below in this offer to go check out what, what my Entrepreneur Affirmation Bootcamp is and how I can help you to overcome the fear of failure to uh, start that dream business. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really, really look forward to working with you. Um, take care and talk soon.